And finally, it reads like a roll call of the world's greatest scientists, including Charles Darwin, Albert Einstein and Professor Stephen Hawking. To that list of winners of the world's oldest scientific award, the name of Dame Jocelyn Bell Burnell has been added. She's been recognised by the Royal Society for discovering pulsars, burnt out stars. Well, Dame Jocelyn is only the second woman to win the medal. It takes a massive piece of intricate ironmongery to dig in space. This was how the discovery of pulsar stars was reported in 1968. At the Mallard Radio Astronomy Observatory, they've discovered little green men. No mention was made of the young female researcher who actually spotted the anomaly, initially thought to be signs of alien life, but actually caused by spinning neutron stars. They're really called pulsars. The unusual spikes on a graph of radio waves had actually been spotted by a young researcher, Jocelyn Bell Burnell. Yet it was her supervisors who received the Nobel Prize a few years later. Jocelyn was pretty much airbrushed from history. Today, that historic wrong has been partially righted with news she's been awarded the world's oldest scientific prize, the Copley Medal by the Royal Society for her pioneering work in astrophysics. The prize was first awarded um, 1731, almost 300 years ago, and only one other woman has won it. Sexism has dogged her long scientific career right from the beginning, when her parents had to lobby her school to allow girls to study science instead of cooking. She remembers that first physics lesson well. We did physics that first term and I came top of the class. It was a fantastic subject, ever so easy. And what was, his, what was the teacher's reaction? The teacher lambasted the boys for allowing a girl to beat them. It wasn't much better when she started university, the only woman in a class of 49 men. It was a little trying because whenever I entered the lecture theatre, all the guys would whistle and stamp and bang their desks and make as much noise as possible. And I had to learn to control my blushing because if you blush, they simply make more noise. Journalists ascended and asked how many boyfriends she had. And Even after her discovery of pulsars, she struggled to be taken seriously. It was her professors who got the science questions. To a woman scientifically proven to be the real deal, Jocelyn Bell Burnell. Since then, she's been awarded numerous scientific accolades. Women weren't expected to have careers, so they probably thought I'd disappear into domesticity. And you're here today to prove you did the exact opposite. I survived it somehow, yes. <laughs> today she joins luminaries such as Charles Darwin, Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking as the winner of one of science's most prestigious awards. Dan Rivers, News at 10. And about time, don't you think? Um...